This is part three of our Don Quixote comic book, and we are going to be on page eight of our PDF file. It's el episodio tres. Don Quixote va a una venta donde sabemos que él cree que es un castillo. But this time, all we're doing is reading it in Spanish, and we're not going to translate word for word. We'll just give a summary of what's going on in the story up to these points. De pronto, pero de pronto tuvo un terrible pensamiento. ¿Cómo puedo hacer hazañas si no he sido armado, caballero? Entonces, vio una venta y creyó que era castillo. Vio a dos mozas y creyó que eran princesas. No temen, nobles princesas. Yo soy un caballero andante y no puedo hacerles ningún daño. Las dos mozas, al ver tan ridícula figura, no pudieron contener la risa. La risa que procede de leve causa es tontería. El ventero, escuchando las risas de las mozas, vino y dijo, oh, Señor caballero, no tengo una cama desocupada en esta venta, pero tengo todo lo demás. Para mí, señor castellano, cualquier cosa es suficiente, porque mi descanso es pelear. Entonces, usted puede dormir en estas duras peñas, y sin dormir puede velar. Así será. S sí, así será. Uh, entre a esta venta y no podrá dormir en un año. A mi caballo rocinante... Que es, el que es mejor que el bucéfalo de Alejandro Magno. Habrá que cuidarlo bien. So he goes to this inn. He finds a place on the side of the road. It's not a holiday inn, but one of these places that people could go and rest and get food, water for their animals, the stables and that. And as he's entering, these two servant girls he looks at and he, he imagines that they are princesses. He's like, don't worry. I'm a knight. I can do you no harm. And they, so they start laughing at him because it looks ridiculous, right? A sickly horse, a weird old man in armor, and he's like, hey, don't be, don't be foolish and laugh at an a elegant sir such as I. And so the innkeeper comes out and he's like, hey, buddy, we don't have any room in the inn, but you could, you know, I can give you some dinner and you can, you know, keep your stuff out here. And you'll be able to watch over your, your stuff. And we can take care of your horse over in the stables. And he's like, hey, you better take good care of this horse because he's the best. But we all know he's not. So as he goes in, the comic doesn't show this, but they could not take his helmet off. Okay? And so they have trouble. He has trouble eating and, doing all, and drinking and all that. And Don Quixote is like, hey, innkeeper, look, I've, I've, got a, I've got a problem here. I need somebody to make me a knight. I can't continue my adventures without becoming a knight. And the innkeeper's like, what are you talking about? What, what is going on here? And so he comes up with the, the idea. He's like, all right, buddy, uh, if you, like, we'll do it in the morning, but you need to go put your stuff outside by the well and... You know, you could stay out there and do your thing. So Don Quixote goes out there, leaves his armor over by the, by the water trough, the, the well. And, you know, this is a busy place. So this arriero, who is a mule, muleteer, he, drive, he has a mule team, you know. And he comes to get water. And Don Quixote gets fired up. Okay. And it says in page 11, where we're at. Pero cuando, de nuevo, cuando el nuevo caballero andante rezaba en el corral, vino un arriero para dar agua a sus mulas. ¡Atrevido caballero! No deberás tocar las armas del valeroso Don Quijote. Si las tocas, morirás. 
you touch my stuff, I'm going to kill you, is what he says. And this poor guy, what are you talking? No entiendo. Solo quiero dar agua a mis mulas. Socórrame, mi señora Dulcinea, en esta, mi primera batalla como caballero andante. ¡Wapa! He whacks him for touching his stuff. All right? When they see this, all the other muleteers come running over because what is this old man doing? Y le está, atacó con toda su, con, a todos con su lanza. He started beating everybody up with his stick, with his lance. ¿Qué pasa? ¡Ay! He would not back down. Mi sen, dulce señora Dulcinea, vuelve tus ojos a tu caballero que está en un gran peligro. And then they start throwing rocks at him. This guy's crazy. And the innkeeper comes to the save the day. Déjelo, déjelo, es un pobre loco. He's a poor crazy man. Traidores, veo bien que el caballero del castillo es también un follón. Pues así permite que traten al valeroso Don Quixote. But nothing happens to him because his armor and his shield. And he's fine. So what happens? The innkeeper's like, this has gone on way too far. It's gone on way too long. I've got to get this crazy man out of here. So they go inside and he takes a sword out and he pretends to say some prayers and he knights Don Quixote. When one of the servant girls says, Me place hacer lo que Dios le proteja y le dé buena suerte. May God be in your favor and have good luck. And get out of here, you crazy man. And so Don Quixote, in page 15, he says, it says, Al despuntar el alba, salió de la venta tan contento de verse armado caballero que el gozo le reventaba por las hinchas del caballo. Rocinante, tenemos que regresar a nuestra aldea para obtener todo lo necesario y para conseguir... A un escudero. Sancho Panza será mi escudero. He is so pumped up. He finally became a knight. In quotations. His journey, he survived his first adventure. He proved himself to be worthy to become a knight. And now he needs to go back home and get everything that he needed to. And to get a squire. A, an escudero. Sancho Panza, a little fat man from back home, would fit perfect. And so now Don Quixote is on his way. On the next one, we will read chapter six, episode six, which is La Primera Aventura de Don Quixote. And like I said before, we're going to skip through. We're not going to read every single episode on this one, in this one. So you can read it in your own if you want, but we will be jumping around to some certain chapters uh, as we go through the rest of our comic book of Don Quixote. In your journal right now, I want you to answer the question of, right now, that I'm going to say, explain why you think Don Quixote is or isn't crazy. Explain why or why not you think Don Quixote is or is not crazy. All right, my explanation is I think Don Quixote is so woke that everybody else is dreaming. Okay, now hear me out. He's an old man. He has everything he needs. He doesn't need to work. All he does is read. He's old, and he doesn't want to end up dying with a book in his hand at home, all alone with his niece and the servant. And he thinks, I'm going to do something with my life. I'm old. People don't care what old people do, right? They do whatever they want. So some people will be supportive and others will be like, oh, he does this because he's old. And so he says, I'm going to go do this thing. If I die, I died on an adventure. If I don't, what's going to happen? They're not going to throw an old man in jail. So I think he knows exactly what he's doing. 
So explain your answers, and tomorrow we'll have uh, some more some more episodes. Adios, amigos.